channel welcome back to the chaos if you're new here I'm Ryan and I actually have a 2008 Dodge Viper I've dropped it off at toxic customs a few months back they're doing a front-end conversion from like the gen 3 gen 4 Viper to the gen 5 well I gave them a proposed deadline we are a couple of days out from that deadline now and I just got a phone call so if it kind of feels like I'm rushing well I am because <laughs> I got a phone call saying hey we need you to come look at the car and they close in an hour and I'm 45 minutes out from the shop so I'm hustling trying to get up there to see what the heck's going on so I'm still I'm hopeful that they can hit that deadline but the fact that they need me to rush up there and, and take a look see what's going on doesn't make me feel too good but I'm gonna rush to the shop and then see what kind of progress they they've made and what they got left to do Well, good fortunes have favored us. Hit all the green lights, not that much traffic. Uh, wrecks were all on the other side of the highway. So hopefully that luck continues. So let's get in here and hopefully he's got good news for us. Back in the chaos garage and as far as the car goes visually there's honestly not really much to see uh, with your naked eye kind of standing outside the car most of the work that has been accomplished has been behind the scenes behind the bumper type stuff so he's actually built out the entire aluminum crash bar bumper structure the whole inner workings so it is nice and pretty but it's also yet yeah, very difficult to film and see because it's all hidden by your, your bumper cover um, so it's it's things that are necessary to move the project forward but as far as like updating you all unfortunately it's, yeah, it's very difficult to showcase all of that hard work when it's covered up he did end up having to take out about three quarters of an inch on the actual like a little portion of the blue bumper and a little portion of the red bumper so it it moved our body line up a little bit so the front bumper doesn't hang as low which i'm a little bit sad about because i like the way it sat but when he moved it up everything kind of like lined up perfectly so when the un under part of the bumper kind of meets up with the under tray now with removing that section like it moved it up perfectly so it's actually sitting the gen 5 bumper is actually sitting where the gen 4 initially was as far as like um ground ground height from the ground to the edge of the bumper. And the reason we know that is because that little under tray, it now bolts in perfectly because there's the same, I don't know how many, six bolts, eight bolts, holding the front bumper in place to the under tray. Those line up perfectly now. So they wouldn't have done that if they weren't the same height. So that was kind of a give and take. You have to give up some of the lowness. So I might need like a lip some type of arrow on the front to kind of bring that line down a little bit because I did like the look of how it was when it was sitting lower but as far as like to actually make this bumper work that was a sacrifice we had to make so that front bumper line had to come up in order to actually make it fit as well as it does we're getting to the part of the project where he's kind of having to go over it with like a fine tooth comb making sure everything lines up perfectly all the gapping's the same so like that the hood to the front bumper, you wanna make sure that's a uniform gap all the way across. Um, same with under the headlights. And then in your uh, wheel wells too, you wanna make sure everything just lines up perfectly because you 
not that you only get one shot to get it right, but you'd rather, that old adage of, you'd rather measure twice, cut once, that's kind of where we're at. So now that he has the big stuff out the way, that bumper structure uh, complete, he's still got it to, he's working on that now too, like the, the inner, like the ducting that actually shoots the air from the front bumper, those like grill inserts, to your wheel well to funnel air to your brakes. He's got to figure that out as well because we bought the Gen 5 air ducting, which fit up nice perfectly with the bumper, but then that doesn't align at all with the Gen 4 spot in the bumper, or excuse me, in the, in the fender liner, that it wants to shoot that air. So it comes down to do we try to hack up, you know, and mash up the Gen 4 and 5 ducting? Do he, does he create like his own? I don't know, these are still things that he's playing around with, trying to figure out the best approach. And we knew we were gonna hit snags like this, it's just, it's part of the process. But ultimately, these little things kind of halt your progress because you need all these little things figured out before you can complete the big stuff. Because again, you don't want to fully plastic weld the bumper out until everything is lined up perfectly and you have everything. Because basically once, he has, he's having to take the bumper on and off. So you don't want to continually take the bumper on and off and weld it, get it perfectly in line, you know, the bumper looking nice, but then all of a sudden like your intakes need to be tweaked a little bit. So it's, it's a little give and take, unfortunately. So that's kind of where we're at. But I do want to be transparent with you all. And like I said, as soon as I get updates, I want to pump them out to you all because I'm super pumped on getting this, this car back. And I was hoping, I initially gave him a deadline. Uh, not going to meet that deadline, unfortunately, but it is just these little things that come up. And, you know, I want it done right. So we just got to, again, trust the process. <laughs> Like I hate, I've come to hate that saying right now, but that's what it is. You just, we have to trust that it's gonna be done, done right, and look factory finish. Like that's what I'm going for is OEM. I really can't thank y'all enough for being patient and hanging in there with me. Cause again, I, I never dreamed the project would, would drag on this long, but stick with me. Hopefully you wanna see it through as much as I do, but I really appreciate everybody watching. If you do have any questions or anything like that, drop it down in the comments below. I love interacting with y'all but I do appreciate you watching. We'll catch y'all in the next one.